So we're on to problem number four of the MIT integration big qualifying exam 14, um, which is the definite integral from x equals to zero to x equals to two of the square root of x plus nested uh, square root x plus another nested uh, square root x plus and so on and so on, infinitely uh, recursing or recursive uh, square root signs. So let's see how we may be able to solve this. So this is our problem x plus square root of x plus square root of x plus right let's look at our integrand here and see y let y be equal to and then when we square um y on all the items on both sides, we get y squared equals to x plus x plus x plus. And we see this part here is y. So what this tells us is that y squared is equals to x plus y. Bring y uh, to this side, we get y squared minus y equals to x. And therefore, y minus a half squared minus a quarter why because this part is the same as y squared minus y plus a quarter so to remove this a quarter so that this part is the same as this we've now added that part there so this equals to x so this is just a by the way right in other words y minus a half squared equals to x plus a quarter Right, and uh, so we have is equals to x plus a quarter, right? In other words, x plus a quarter, and y is equals to a half plus minus x plus a quarter. Now what we see here is that we do have negative and positive curves but i think what we're interested here is on the positive uh, aspect of the curve so our curve of interest is going to be this right and so our integral of x plus the same as the integral from 0 to 2 of a half plus x plus a quarter which is equals to 2 integral a half So, which means that if we have this is the same as plus um, two over three x plus a quarter three over two. Okay, which is equals to a half two minus zero plus two over three uh, two plus a quarter to the power three over two minus a quarter three over two, which is equals to one half times two is one plus two over three. Um, we have 9 over 4 square root is the same as 3 over 2, so which is 27 over 8 minus 1 over 8. Okay, quarter square root is half, half to the power 3, 
is the same as if so which is equals to 1 plus 2 over 3 27 uh, over 8 minus 8 is equals to 1 plus 2 over 3 times 26 over 8 4 and this is 1 plus um, 26 over 12 which is equals to 12 plus 26 over 12 which is equals to 38 over 12 which is equals to 19 over 6. In other words, your integral 0 to 2 of the big square root sign x plus square root sign plus square root x plus is equals to 19 over 6. And that is the answer. Um, so there are a couple of other methods. Um, I would like to show you another method that uh, might be interesting. Um, so let's let's try to to see that. So method two, um, which is so we have this. If we say let y be equal to x plus square root of x plus x plus, then y squared is equal to x plus the square root of x plus. Um, and this part here is y. So in other words, y squared is equal to x plus y. Therefore, y squared minus y equals to x. And so we can say now 2y dy dx minus dy dx is equals to 1. And therefore, 2y minus 1 dy dx is equals to 1. And therefore, um, we could just say uh, 2y minus 1 dy is equal to dx. So this is an important aspect of things. Now when it comes to our limits, uh, when x equals to 0, y squared minus y is equal to 0. So you have y equals to 0. You have y equals to 0 or y equals to 1. Um, when we plot this curve, it's very important to see that y squared minus y equals to x. Um, it's important to see that the curve is something like that. And so we want to, and 2 is somewhere here, so we want to find the area here, right? Um, which is uh, interesting because um, under the curve, uh, if you look at y, under the curve, we're beginning from point 1 to, to 2. So we're going to choose this as our lower bound. Um, and obviously the important bit also is at the, when, when x is equals, x equals to, to 2, we say 1 squared minus y equals to 2. And so uh, y squared minus y minus 2 equals to 0, y equals to 1 plus minus square root of b squared 1 minus plus so 8 over 2 which is 1 plus minus square root of 9 which is 3 over 2 and we have a scenario where we have negative 1 or we do have 2 and since we're on the positive domain we have 2 so on the upper limit we have uh, uh, 2 <clears throat> So, in other words, 
uh, 0 to 2 square root of x plus x plus the square root of x plus is the same as integral from 1 to 2 and this is y this entire thing is y and the x we found it to be 2 y minus 1 dy so this means that we have 1 to 2 uh, 2y squared minus y dy and so we have 2 over 3 y cube minus y squared over 2 1 to 2 so which equals to 2 over 3 2 cube minus 1 cube a half 2 squared minus 1 squared which is equals 2 over 3 8 minus 1 uh, 7 minus a half 4 minus 1 is 3 okay Is the same answer where we have the integral from 0 to 2 of uh, this huge square root of x plus x square root of x plus x plus being equal to 19 over 6 and that's that's the answer